What's up guys? You know the drill. Let's just get right into the messages because I don't like to waste time in this piece. Let's see. I feel like there's people who are being forced to, um, the ones who actually still have the ability to empathize and maybe they just kind of lost themselves because there are people on this planet, I'm not even sure if they're people to tell you the truth, that just don't have it. They just don't have it. And I, I do feel like there's there's people who still have a little bit left or they haven't completely lost themselves being forced to focus on that or see where they went wrong or where they lost it. Yeah, because they have no foundation. There's shit's crumbling. Discontent and boredom. Ah. Uh, This could also be somebody who is not happy in a relationship or a marriage at all. Four. I got two fours here. Somebody could be 44. Yeah, I do think someone wants to walk away from a marriage. Hmm. Eight. Okay. First, I see somebody that wants to walk towards wherever this third party situation was. When somebody gets bored, you know, I always try. <laughs> this is what it is. When someone's bored, this is someone who's married, but they're not, they're not, they don't commit. They're a cheater. When they get bored, they leave and then they go party and they go cheat. So, tell me more. Cheat with what, who, I don't know. They make bad decisions. They, they could cheat playing both sides. They could cheat with men and women is what I'm getting, whoever this person is. They don't have a, a, a firm foundation at home. So they're, when things aren't going well with the missus or the mister, they could be a fire sign or they're just a karmic masculine. They could be an Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, possibly. <sighs> yeah, so they... they they play both sides. Tell me about this two of swords. Somebody can't decide what they want to. Mm. Tell me about this two of swords. Why is this here? Oh, because they do this. This is why. I, I do think that this also could be like... Uh, this is just your spirit. This is the universe bringing judgment. Who's this person? Did they do this to you? I also see when somebody's bored, they go to partying. They walk towards drinking and they make bad decisions with the two of swords. They make very bad decisions and now they're experiencing judgment. Hmm. Why, is the, why are they thinking like this? Why are they like mentally trapped? Why are they trapped? Trapped what? At a job that they can't stand? I also see that you guys walking away from partying and, and just living a fast lifestyle and, and, and focusing more on whatever this is that you've been focusing uh, is is like blowing this trumpet. It's like bringing judgment. It's like okay, this is the the final final answer. Eight of Swords and the Eight of Pentacles. Not eight though. Eight Cups, Eight of Swords, Eight of Pentacles. So this is also about abundance. You may feel discontent at the time. You may feel a little bored. But I, I think because this is because we're not used to having this amount of time to rest, to rejuvenate, heal. The matrix makes you feel like if you're idle, then you're wasting time. Yeah, there's more. Look, so it's pentacles, pentacles. I, I, I see that because you walked away from this three of cups stuff, period, just, just being around other people, it looks like, and just kind of like focusing on yourself. You, you got to work on your crown chakra, which is helping you bring balance into your life, which is now in turn spinning this because it's like the wheel was stuck for a while, like a karmic loop. 
Some of you may be thinking of getting a tattoo work work done on like body on your body. What is this? Hold on. Success. Two of cups on the floor. I'm gonna put it back. Yeah. Letting the scales balance. Just just focusing on this success. Focusing on this. I just wanna be successful. So now what? <laughs> Because I know that that's not where it's stopping. You heard? But that's the good thing. I mean, you know, some of the truths about the shit is like, you know that you're you're changing and growing when you have more haters than you did before. If you have no haters, then I, I feel like you may literally have a life where you don't do shit and you don't accomplish anything. I, I am grateful for the people who don't like me because they keep me going. Let's put the ghost app on now. Daniel. Yeah, Daniel. So, Daniel, this could be the story of Daniel. What did we have the story the last time of somebody else when we did the live, possibly? Anyway, Daniel, this could be you. Like, being thrown in the lion's den, Daniel. You could have you could have been like Daniel. What, what did Daniel did not ask for much? Did he ask for, like, uh, other things? He was in the lion's den, right? And he never, he never gave up hope or faith. Someone's name could be Ben. I mean, shit, I could have just said that real quick. Sorry. Doesn't realize that you or someone else is currently mirroring the behavior. Hmm. So you walking away from these people and focusing on you. Conscious. Look at this. Conscious. Yeah, so currently doing black magic on you, but they don't know what the fuck they're doing, so somebody could be literally doing some work on, they could be doing crown chakra work with the eight of pentacles in this. They're trying to fuck with your consciousness, right? Do like a, I don't know, crown chakra, you know, listen to a frequency for a crown chakra uh, healing. So when you walked away and then you started focusing on, on just you and like cutting out, allowing any more karma to come into your life as well is also what I'm seeing. So you're walking away from hanging, partying, cutting out possible judgment, being judged or just getting in trouble with the universe. And I see you worked on your mental and now you're balanced. So now because you're balanced, like you're just focusing on, on like how can I live the most successful, happiest life that I can. So that's amazing. So um, there's somebody here though, I guess, that doesn't realize that you or someone's mirroring their behavior. Tell me who, who this person is, cancer possibly. Who's, tell me who, who's, who doesn't realize it. Tell me about this person. What can you tell me about this person that doesn't realize that somebody's... Uh, doing it oh by oh leaving someone out and abandoning abandoning it so if somebody left you out in the cold and abandoned you I guess this is happening to somebody else they may have had to have this happen so that they can realize what mirroring behavior was mirroring behavior you also could just not be talking to anybody anymore so these are people who left you out in the cold and now you're doing it, but it seems to be a problem. Is that what the, is that what this really is? Are you just like do people see what you're doing as this? But really, what what really are you doing though? What 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 really is the collective doing? Um, happy, you're happy. You're focusing on your happiness. This could also be family members that left you out in the cold. Certain ones, and now. You could just kind of be okay with that because you walked away and you're happy and you cut all this out. You cut out a lot of motherfuckers, like cut off game, like she also says no water. conscious had your awakening now, the and now people, what, they don't realize that that's, so what, what you're doing, how they're perceiving what you're doing, whatever this is, they see it as you're abandoning us, you leave us out in the cold. You see it as I'm fucking happy. Right, so now you're focusing on you. So now, but I feel like these are the same people who did do this to you, though. You see the manipulation; they can't manipulate you anymore because that this is it's making my head hurt, and that's why I know it's manipulation because I won't allow it in my life anymore. So they 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 were probably at one point very good at making you feel bad, like you did abandon them, like come back as the family, come back to to the cult, you know. <laughs> 
10 minutes exactly it was but for some of you it really was come back to the come back to Waco you didn't even realize where you were at you see it as me leaving at you at the cold I see it as I'm happy like fulfillment like this for the first time in a long time I feel fulfilled in my life sorry if you know sorry if you take it I'm happy look I'm happy I'm healed so sorry if it's making you guys look bad or if it's you know what I mean? Like now the, maybe that these people don't have a lot going on because you worked on yourself. So they're bored now. These are the types of people that got off off you making bad decisions. You were like the life of the party even when you weren't there. Now when they're bored, what are they going to do? So now they currently are probably real. Oh, thank you, spirit. Now that these people you walked away, I guess it's been long enough for a lot of you, for somebody, where this change is taking place. So it must have been like at least a year because it usually takes that long for to facilitate some kind of movement that can be noticed on both ends. And it seems like now that now these people are bored and discontent because you took control of your life. They don't have 11-11. So now what they have to do is, oh my God, they're seeing you different and now they're seeing them severe. Maybe they're realizing how severe something was let me, let me it's a little bright severe severe abandonment issues definitely severe mental illness severe chop so there's your your chop game is severe is that what my spirit guides are telling me like your cut off severe chop <laughs> I love you guys. They're amazing, aren't they? So what they're saying is like your cuddle. It's like a it's a severe chop. Like hi yeah, and that's it. You walked away. You cut them off. Two of swords. Cut. You could have used two when you cut them. You, you know, I don't know what you did. Friend. Severe chop and friend. So that's what you did. You cut all your friends out. I feel like or they cut you. I mean whatever this was, it was it was. It feels severe. Like overnight, I'm just having, I talk to nobody. It, but look at the tenant, look what you got because of it. Though They may be insulted, they may feel some kind of way because it's being proven. Why is this person like this? Why? Why are they like this when they're not around you? One, two, three, four. And why do you guys now feel like this? Expedition just popped up. That's amazing. Friend, and you're on a friend expedition. Severe chop friend expedition. That's amazing. Thank you so much, Spirit Realm. I love them. You're on a friend expedition, but now it's because you had to severely you had to do a cut. They didn't make the cut. That's what this is. They didn't make the draft. This is how you have to treat it. Because people being in your life, those of you that are healed and you know that then you resonate with the shit that I that goes on the table when I do these readings, you know how good of a person you are and you know that somebody would be like it's like winning the lottery to have a friend like you, a boyfriend, a husband, a wife, a mother. You know, you just have that energy that not many people have, but you had so many other people around you saying things about you and wanting to believe it because they were jealous of you that it actually became, it manifested in you. It's like these people were constantly making you out to be this and accusing you of this, and then you become that. You've become the manifestation of what they threw at you, and then ironically, they don't like you. So what, what does that really say? And if you're mirroring all of their behavior, what does that really say? Does that say that they don't like them either? Because that's basically what they're going to have to sit with, is the fact that if you were mirroring, right, they don't like it though. If you were mirroring their behavior, whether it's one person, three, or your whole fucking family, how, ain't that a bitch? You're going to mirror all these personalities? And then they're going to say that you have a personality disorder. Hey, okay. Because that's what it sounds like I'm speaking to a hey, okay. We mirror other people's behavior. That's why this came out. They got to sit with this. Because I'm sure in the beginning it was easy for them to say, yeah, okay, whatever. You know, they didn't notice how, how much of an impact their way that they thought and their personality affected you. They are now. And maybe you are as well. So you see it as uh, abandoning. I see it as I'm happy for the first time in a long time. Yeah, Leo possibly, Leo energy. Or this is just, um, you know, I got stronger. Explain this to me. I don't mean any ill will or anything, but facts are facts. Somebody walked away from a group of people or uh, some people 
and their cutoff game was severe, like it said, and they stopped doing things that were going to bring judgment into their life, and they started working on themselves and looking at shit differently, and it slowly started balancing shit out. Now that's all somebody is focusing on, and now that somebody's finally there to this ten of ten of cups, now people, the people who walked away from you or left you like this, now they want to try. This is what they do, though. This is what narcissists do. This is what like, that has to be. They will make you feel bad for for moving on and doing good. Strength. Hmm? You speaking confident you're very skilled you're learned you're wise you have a strong voice as well you speak in the about this you could be speaking about all of this that's making you stronger you're a blessing you see this whole situation as a blessing and that's another thing that's bringing in good shit for you because i don't even feel regret i don't feel i don't feel low energy i don't i feel like this um, no regrets Yes. You know a lot of shit. You didn't realize how much you knew. You didn't realize how smart you were. You didn't realize how old your soul was until you moved away from partying and with these people. Don't even Now it says friends. It says you walked away from friends and you cut people off like So now I guess you're interviewing or you guys I don't know you're all you're all in different I guess levels so some of you are like I thought no way I'm not ready yet others of you may be like interested in meeting new friends let's find out who's currently doing black magic and they have no idea what they're doing none of them have any idea what they're doing or we wouldn't be here right <laughs> you know how many death spells I've had thrown at me bitches you're gonna have to come harder than that Catherine someone's name could be Catherine what else is here just Catherine Oh, they laugh. Oh, are they laughing at you? Currently doing black magic. Kath on Catherine or Catherine's doing it possibly. They laugh. What are they? Tell me about this. So they were laughing at one point. They laugh. I guess they're not laughing now. Have no idea what they're doing. Currently doing black magic. Please tell me who this is. Please. Is this the group? Is this that fucking group? Oh, a King of Cups, a Cancer Pisces Scorpio, currently doing black magic and has no idea. No idea. They do this by themselves. They do this in secret. Yeah, this is an older male. For some of you, it's your, it's your uh, hus ex-husband. But this is definitely somebody who's at least 45. It could be, it could be an earth sign. It could be a, a water sign. It could be both of these motherfuckers. Either way, they don't know what they're doing. It could literally be two. Two karmic masculines sitting in a tree. <laughs> I don't know. They could be kissing. I don't know. I mean, shit, this motherfucker look like, Come here. Sit on my lap. Ho, 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 bitch. And this motherfucker like, How many pentacles is it going to cost me? Let's see. Plotting on you. Plotting on your ass, dumbasses. King of Swords, look at all these. This could be three punks. They laugh. Plotting on one person. Looking at you. Looking at what sex toys you're buying. So I don't know what in the hell to even make of that. But. Where's my pendulum? Hold on a second. I gotta go look for my pendulum, you guys. Sorry, guys. All right, the word scope. They laugh and scope. They laugh and scope, so they watch you. They laugh. I command the true spirit. Today is November 1st, 2022. Thank you. Can you clear that, please? I command the truth. Are these three different dudes? Are these three different dudes? No. I command the true spirit. Is this two different dudes too? So the king of swords, they're both king of... Alright, so whether they're an air sign, a water sign, or um, an earth sign, it doesn't matter. These are just dudes that like to have control. They want control, king of swords, and they like money. Money and power. This one came out first because that's usually how they show up, right? Lovey dovey, right? Next thing you know, motherfuckers only worried about money and then he wants control once he gets the money so that's what this is it's one person I'm guessing or two it said right it said two 
All right. Definitely could be uh, an Aquarius involved. These are tyrants. The low vibration is this, is imposing your own tyranny over those you claim to liberate. Ignoring legitimate constraints, bitch. Huh? Someone's uh, constraint game is low. Let's see. Tell me about this, please. D. They like the roll with that. What else here? What's over here? Scope. Yeah, they watch you and they laugh. But there's black magic. I don't know. They thought something was funny. Somebody thought some shit was funny when it came to you. D H. Uh -oh. Yes, these D H E. Let's see what DHE is. Human engineering, a mythology of psychological influence. A word with a negative connotation derived from sharp inhale sound when one's crying. <sighs> so this is a woe is me, motherfucker. But DHE, though, psychological influence, right? So they're trying to influence you in some way. This is somebody who's trying to, they're definitely fucking with your crown chakra, man. Uh, and I'm speaking to myself. Put something on top of your head and cover your head. If you know that you're sensitive, because this is, we already seen, look, technological. It's technological popped up and then between. It, th this thing's like. Yeah, they laugh. Scope and technological. That means that their their computers, their technology is being watched. That's what that tells me. So these these two or these two dudes here, they're they're trying to influence your brain. Yeah, I just saw generational wealth and genius. They know how smart you are, so they're attacking your crown chakra. You could I don't know, are you sleeping right? Are you are you resting right? Oh, look at this shit. Can't sleep. Somebody's trying to project this. If you can't sleep or something, somebody's definitely gray hair. This person has gray hair, so it's an older male. They could be, they're sending this to you. This, this is the black magic they're doing so that you can't sleep because they're probably trying to attack look, rumors. So this person possibly can't sleep and they're projecting this shit onto you. But if this person can't sleep because they know that there's rumor has it. Rumor has it. Let's find out what the rumors are about. Tell me about the rumors. What's up with the rumors? What's up with the rumors, please? Why can't this person sleep? Rumors about what? A Taurus? Rumors about a Taurus? Marrying a, a Taurus that they're married to? A Libra? A Pisces. There's either a Taurus that can't sleep because of rumors. Queen of Cups. Someone they're married to. A Pisces, possibly, or a Cancer. Somebody also started rumors about somebody that's being seen as this Hierophant and Queen of Cups. Whether you're a water sign or a Taurus. This is somebody who's very loving. This is why they want to attack your brain. This is like knowledge, wisdom. Somebody that people look up to. Somebody when you have a problem, the first person, somebody goes, oh, call so and so. It doesn't matter what your sign is. You could be a Pisces too, but you're the person that people go to. You're very smart. You're very innovative. And that's why they're trying to attack your crown chakra. Yep. The rumors. They could have started rumors about a Taurus or a Taurus started one about you. Hmm? Yeah. This is whatever it is that you do for work. Mm -hmm. Somebody could have said that you're a prostitute as well. Somebody started rumors. Oh. So they're... 
rumors that you were a prostitute or that you worked in the sex industry and you're actually smart. They were influencing people. So that could be the black magic, what they're talking about, because, you know, those of us who are real smart, we know it's not always like, <laughs> right? It's um, in being an influence. Yeah. Uh, there's a younger Taurus here. A younger Taurus that you had love for. You could have worked with this person or oh, this person. This person left you out in the cold. There, there is rumors going around about something where whatever this Hierophant energy is, they are looked up to. They're a loving, intuitive person. They're a hard worker. They're loyal. So whatever this was, is somebody said the opposite so that people did this. So they're doing black magic What on what? What, what are they? They wanted people to reject you. They're doing chaos magic, possibly trying to get you into a car accident. I feel like there's also people um, that are arguing. I see that you stopped even fighting or giving in arguing with a cancer as well. This cancer could be uh, connected for you. Like you had to walk away from this person because it's just a nonstop argument. I, I, I think that um, because you, you, you didn't come back or you weren't people pleasing anymore, there are certain individuals that were used to you coming back. So because you didn't, they were worried and maybe you started growing and it was making them look bad. So they figured, well, they can't have that. So let me start rumors about this person. And now I don't know how you're being seen or what's happening, but there's something about these rumors going bye-bye. What are we on? 27 minutes. I'm just going to leave it at that. I'm, I'm like, I'm so tired about these messages. Anyway, um, whatever. If you guys, I don't know if you guys are having a problem sleeping, getting the bath, you know, Palo Santo, you know, listen to the, the playlist that I put on my community board with the spell work and stuff. There's definitely uh, males, masculine energies trying to fuck with um, your crown chakra for some of you. It's not for everybody, but you all know when it's happening. I love you. We're not going nowhere. Philly out, guys.